Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Hey, what's up, everybody? Chris Souders, Slunger Cat Outdoors, back with you again today. And today, we're going to be hitting the river with a good friend, Larry Lang. See if we can't get on some wintertime blue cats. Stick around. We're going to have a good time. We may have to downsize some baits. That sucks so bad because we have great big bait. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. What do you got, Larry? I don't know. Is it snagged? Tell me it ain't snagged. No, it ain't snagged. It ain't snagged? No. Is that a good fish? It acts like it. Man, he hit light though, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, that's he a just good fish. A little bag. <laughs> we got a good fish. Heck yeah. Man, he was hitting like a channel cat. I know. Man, and it never that... did like really slam it down at all. No. Now I'm really wondering. That's a good fish, isn't it? I, I better so. get the net. Yeah, he's like just pulling weight. Yeah, my drag is a little loose. <laughs> yeah, it's a little loose. He just come up like Shamu Well right there. Yeah. Man, look how white he is. He's right underneath the boat. Here it comes. Boom, baby! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Man, look at the gut on that thing! That's close to 40 anyhow. Oh, son, yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> And that was on that small bait, too. Heck yeah, man, he just pecked around at it. <laughs> Golly! <laughs> That's a good way to start the day. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I bet that fish has ever been at 40 pounds. He's close if he's not. Oh! Nice. Nice. A little old piece of bait. Yeah, I mean, he, that's what he took right there. Look at that. And how it was is I, I don't even think, oh, no, I did put, no, that was a piece of bait that we had thrown out there last time. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even switch it out. That wasn't even new bait. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was pretty fresh. I mean, it was still fresh. We didn't sit on that last spot very long. And no, we didn't. And there were still guts in this little gut pocket thing. So I didn't, I just didn't chase, change it out. Now it makes me wonder about all these other little pecks we've gotten. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh. Got some shoulders? Well, I thought so, but he must have gave up on me. Hey, we'll take him. It's fish. Yeah. Ah. Uh, 
Little one? Another, another one about like we caught there a minute ago. Huh. Yep. Old double hook rig. That's what I got mine on. All right, now folks, you have heard us say that we have been catching these fish on a double hook Kentucky rig. Now, if you're new to the channel, uh, one of the, my favorite rigs is a double hook Kentucky rig, and I do a really good how-to video on that, so make sure you go back into the my videos, look for the double hook Kentucky rig, how to tie it, and that'll be a complete diagram uh, how-to on how to tie that rig. But real quick, I wanted to go over, uh, for you guys that were watching, this is 50-pound slime line down to a 225-pound test uh, tackling cat swivel. I really like these swivels. These swivels are made in the United States, and any time that I can support an American-made company, I really like to do that. Now, this is 80-pound leader line, and this is uh, Andy Monster leader line. And what a double-hook Kentucky rig is, as you can see, we have our first loop there with a Diachi D85, and that is about, you know, 10 inches from our swivel, and then we have about two foot down to our next dropper loop with another Diachi D85, and then we have about 10 inches down to our sinker drop, our sinker uh, snap there. Now what that does is that allows you to have baits at two different levels, maybe even two different types of baits, two different sizes of baits. On a tough bite, this rig can be very, very productive. Let's get back to it and see if we can put some more fish in the boat. That's about the same size as that other one, Kyle, yeah. wasn't it? Pretty fish. Nice. Here we go. There he goes, back down. I don't like the, all this. It, I don't like them just pecking forever and pecking. I like getting a spot, you know, where they just slam them. <laughs> I'd, and we get about four or five of them like that. Yeah. I don't think that's going to be today, do you? No, I don't act like it. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, that is a good fish. It feels good. I don't think it's near the size of that one you caught, but. Really? Yeah. It, but it's a good fish. All them fish we marked down there. And, but we ain't been here too long. No. A little blue cat. Seven minutes. So what's on the man he hit it good didn't he yeah that's the way they ought to hit yeah yeah that's another 12 pound fish isn't i was it? gonna say 10 or 12 pounder heck yeah man he rolled that joker down nice little healthy fat fish What happens to their uh, whiskers? I don't know. Am I getting a bite? I thought you were on that very first rod, but I Man. think it hit a... Put this one back in. Nice. Don't think that's the one we marked back here. No. But we'll take him. I like the way he took it. Yeah. Yeah, that was encouraging, wasn't it? Caught me off guard. I, could, I was like a turtle on my back. Couldn't get out of the seat. <laughs> Ooh, that one's moving up river too. Good. Mm, 
I mean, it's a good fish, but about like what we've been, what I caught there before. But at least he took it. Yeah. What, fish number six? Yeah. I think so, yeah. And I honestly have to say, this is probably like the first fish I've ever caught here at the creek of this mouth, or the <laughs> mouth of this creek. <laughs> hey, you ain't got to net it. I'll just pull him in. All right. Hate to have to fool with that thing getting all tangled. Come here. Another for the double hook Kentucky rig. It's been pretty hot today. Yeah. He's got scars on top of his head from like spawning. Huh. Look at that. I'll be there. It almost looks like a bigger fish has had a hold of him. Yeah. That's weird. That is. Oh, 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 oh. Get him? Yeah. Is it good? I don't feel shoulders like I did on the other one. Yeah? I was just getting ready to say we've been here 30 minutes. That's a second fish. Hey. See, there's my other problem. I'm What's at that? my other line. Oh, is he? Oh, man, it makes it nice with just two people. Now, wait a minute, you're moving rods around like you got something here. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> if we get him in the net, that'd be number seven. That's a nice fish. There we go. Look how fat that sucker is. Man, eh? that's a butter ball. Yeah. Uh, that might make 15, 18 pounds. This one will make 40. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, folks, that's going to do it for us today. Had a wonderful time out here on the water. I want to thank you guys for watching. Real quick, I wanted to touch on the gear, the rod and reel we was using today. Today, I was using Warrior Cat Heavy Action. This is a seven and a half foot rod. Paired up with a pin squall size 20 for a reel under $100. This is a super, super good reel, super good deal. This is a, a squall 20 level one. Pairs up real nice with the heavy action Warrior Cat rods. I got it spooled up with a slime line 50 pound test. And then I showed you guys the double hook Kentucky rig, which was a real productive rig for us today. I want to thank you guys for watching. If this is your first time watching the channel. Thank you guys. Make sure you guys go over, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. I try to put out new videos each and every week and also do a Tackle Talk Tuesday, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time when time allows. Thank everybody for watching and we'll catch you next time.